The Air Force's version of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter can fly in lightning and thunderstorms again after the service lifted a restriction that had been in place for four years. The F-35 Joint Program Office confirmed that the 2020 standoff restriction placed on the aircraft, officially called the Lightning II. The military stopped F-35 as from flying within 25 miles of lightning after a problem was discovered with its onboard inert gas generation system, which is meant to keep the jet safe from strikes. Onboard inert gas generation system pumps nitrogen-enriched gas into the F-35S fuel tank to render it inert and keep the fuel tanks from exploding if struck by lightning. In 2020, maintainers conducting depot maintenance on an F-35A at Hill Air Force Base in Utah found that one of the tubes that distributes the gas to the fuel tank was damaged. Subsequent inspections found problems with tubes in multiple other F-35s, and the military restricted it from flying near lightning until a fix could be developed. F-35B and F-35C were not affected by the lightning problem and did not have their flying restricted. The junior professional officer, JPO, said the fix included a more robust design for the fighter's onboard inert gas generation system hardware, as well as updates to its software. The modification was tested both in the lab and in flight. It credited government and industry engineers for finding a solution to the lightning restriction problem. The JPO declined to further detail how the system was fixed or how many F-35s have been modified due to operational security concerns. The JPO said the fix restores operational capability while providing additional safety for the pilots and aircraft.